Yeah, he was a real threat, wasn't he, all evening? And um, it, it's great to to win the game, but it's, it's an added bonus when your two strikers has, have got one goal each, you know, and um, give the fans something to cheer about. I thought that they we started the game really, really well, and um, we inspired the fans to be honest, and, and they stuck with us, you know, even when. West Brom scored. I thought they were magnificent tonight, and uh, the boys in in the dressing room there want to give them a lot of credit. You know, we're going to need them between now and the end of the season. Massive, you know, it's huge, huge for us. You know, and uh, I think we're we've got a group. I'm learning about the group. We've got a group of players who um, who are not really suited to a relegation battle, to be honest. The style, the old-fashioned style is, you know, blood and thunder, you know, and, and dig out results. So we have to change it and we have to play. We have to play as if we're not in a relegation battle and we have to pass the ball and move. And I think we did that, especially in the first half, and we controlled the football match. You know, and, and it takes bravery to be able to do that. It's been in front of a, a big expectant crowd. Um, I understand the anxiety of the crowd because they're a huge club and they shouldn't be where they are, but they are. You know, and they are because they deserve to be on the on what they've done this season. But we're looking to uh, we've bucked the trend of seven Premier League losses, and now we're looking upwards and onwards. Is that the moment they can just turn it all around? Tim, last I, minute drama. Yeah, I think so. I think it was it was huge. Even though we deserve to win the game, you still need a, a slice of luck there, don't you? In the last minute or so, to uh, to turn the points our way.